Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We will draw the impeller. Let's get started. Click front plane, then choose revolve boss. Create a profile sketch consisting of center line. Line. An arc. Set each dimensions at 8 millimeters, 53 millimeters, 13.5 millimeters. Thirty three millimeters. Radius forty millimeters. Four millimeters. Then set chamfer at three millimeters equal distance. Exit sketch, then click OK. Click top surface of impeller, then choose sketch on the sketch toolbar. Draw a horizontal line. Then make a downward sloping center line. Set horizontal line at 30.5 millimeters. 20 degree angle. Exit sketch. Create a new plane. Click the top surface as the first reference, then click the center line as the second reference. OK. Then choose sketch on the new plane. Draw a vertical line. Set the dimensions at 4 millimeters. Exit sketch. Click the top plane, then choose sketch on the sketch toolbar. Create a spline sketch. Click spline then drag the spline arrow. A range is shown on the screen. Exit sketch. Click the sketch then choose project curve on the surface toolbar. Choose sketch on face then click projection face. OK. Click top surface of the impeller then choose sketch on the sketch toolbar. Create a spline sketch. Click curve 1, then select convert entities. Choose trim entities, then click trim to closest. Use add relations to set the spline to be tangent to the convert entity line. Click at the spline then set the arrow to the right slightly. Exit sketch. Click front plane then choose sketch. Sketch an arc. Set the arc radius at 26 millimeters. Exit sketch. On the surface toolbar, choose the project curve. Choose sketch on sketch. Click sketch 6 and sketch 5. OK. On the surface toolbar, choose lofted surface. On profiles, choose sketch 2 and sketch 3. Then on the guide curves, choose curve 1 and curve 2. OK. Choose extend surface. Set the distance at 1 mm, then choose edge to extend. OK. Click extend surface earlier, then choose thicken on the surface toolbar. Choose the thicken both sides and set the thickness at 1 mm. OK. Create a circular profile at the bottom of the impeller as a cutting profile. Then on the features toolbar, choose split. Click the three trim tools, then click cut bodies. Choose Consume Cut Bodies. OK. On the Mold Toolbar, choose Move Face. Set distance at 1 mm. Click Face to move. Check Flip Direction. OK. 
Choose delete face then click faces to delete. Option of delete and patch. OK. Choose fillet then set fillet type to full around fillet. Click item to fillet. OK. On the features toolbar choose circular pattern, click fillet one bodies. Then click interface of impeller is pattern axis. Number of instances is 16. OK. Choose all solid bodies. Click revolved one bodies, then hold down keyboard shift, click circular pattern 15. Then choose combine on the features toolbar. Show preview. OK. Choose fillet on the features toolbar. Set radius at 1 mm. Choose items to fillet. OK. Repeat the fillet command for all existing fins. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Because it's support to me. Thanks and see you.